Hey everybody, Brendan here from the EVN Hybrid Network. I just want to show you today a failed component. So this is a capacitor out of a Mazda IE loop system. So I want to talk a little bit about how the system works, what this is. So this was out of a Mazda 6. A customer had a IE loop malfunction warning up there and we're able to utilize Mazda factory service information which we have access to to as efficiently as possible uh, diagnose the fault, uh, get to the fix the first time. So fault in this case is the capacitor, which is the, the heart of the IE loop system. A system that's been around for over 10 years now, still on current models, and it's what you would call a micro hybrid. So as long as we stay below 60 volts DC, which is what the standard sets to be high voltage, and that's when we need to get our you know, EV tags on the, the number plates and uh, alerting first responders that it's an electric vehicle. As long as we stay below 60 volts DC, then technically we're not high voltage, but we still definitely have some hybrid based functions on a lot of vehicles. A lot of vehicles that people wouldn't even know are hybrids. So particularly in this case, lots of Mazdas out there that are running this IE loop system. It's based on a 25 volt architecture. So there's an alternator specially designed for the job. Whenever we get off the accelerator, don't have to be braking, just being off the accelerator and decelerating. We turn that alternator on to full effect and it's able to output its 25 volts. Now, technically while we're decelerating, the wheels are turning the engine, the engine is turning the alternator. So we're kind of using the wheels to turn the alternator to produce electricity to store in our capacitor. So benefits, why did they use a capacitor? Um, you can almost instantaneously charge a capacitor. So a battery, while it takes a much longer time to charge, a capacitor we can charge very, very rapidly. The downside is we lose energy density. So this is quite a large looking unit here that they hide uh, behind one of the headlights. It holds nowhere near the energy capacity that a similar sized battery typically would. You know, if we're talking nickel metal hydride or particularly lithium ion. So we're able to utilize this capacitor, charge it up on D cell, and then either if we get back on the accelerator, we don't have to turn the alternator on and, and use the engine uh, or use fuel basically to run it. We can just use this to run the electronics of the car or if you come to a start-stop situation, so you're sitting at traffic lights, engine turns off, and we're able to utilize this to run the electronics of the vehicle. Um, so if you're having any issues with the Mazda IE loop system, or for that matter, any EV or hybrid, get onto the website, find a certified and trained workshop in the network uh, that's near your postcode, and we'll get you sorted. Thanks, guys.